Got the key. Finding a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. It says garage on it. It, it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to play Kona Day 1. Kona Day 1 is currently in an early beta version. Uh, it's going to release in March, so next month. Uh, but it's not finished yet. If you buy the game now on GOG.com, you can get access to the early version and get an idea about the game. And yes, yeah, since it is an early version, keep in mind that not everything is done and there might be some bugs along the way, but it looks really great and it has this survival, the long dark feel. It combines survival elements and narrative driven mystery. So I'm really excited about this one. Carl Faubert, private detective, had just traveled thousands of kilometers from Montreal to reach this remote middle of nowhere area situated near the far northern Lake Adamebec. Granted, that was a great distance to cover for a sole client, but word had it that he was a particularly wealthy one. Mm. All right, we're right in the game, and we're going to start picking up our stuff here. Oh, man, this looks really, really great. I love this. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I'm, the game wants me to pick up some stuff, but honestly... Ooh, I can, I can open the trash bin. Sweet! I got an empty bottle. I'm pretty sure that's going to be helpful. Okay, you guys are creepy. <laughs> I'm just going to go exploring. I don't, I don't care about picking up any, any, any silly items. What's on this tower? Nothing! It's a lookout tower. And can I... <laughs> can I jump down? I do appreciate having feet <laughs> and a buddy. All right, let's listen to the game. Pick up the items that we're going to use. All right, let's start with the map. Carl had to drive a bit further north mm -hmm. in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. That sounds that sounds wealthy. Mm, Hamilton. Got some William matches. Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses as well as metal mines in this northern region. Carl, always diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Mm, good to know. Yeah, we got a, got a journal for pictures and characters and other things. As it says, it's being revamped. Ooh, camera, I like that. The Give me. Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, had seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away, even when removed from civilization. Mm, cool. I like this. I like this feature. You actually got a proper screenshot on the photo there. I'll keep that. Just, just to keep safe. Hamilton sake. is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. All right, let's do this. This game got some really good driving, actually. I was really surprised William when I Hamilton enjoyed checked a lavish it out. country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Of some course. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortune. And these ones hated Ooh, him racing. enough to go on about scheming against him. Whoops. Ah, it's starting to snow. Fantastic. Carl was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow. Which of course. didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping his first load of the year. Oh, jeez. It's windy. Hard to see. Yeah, this this feels like properly driving through a Hamilton snowstorm. Had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Well, I mean, this seems to be very remote. If I'd, I'd be happy to have, like, a few convenience stores around in this area, I guess. Alright. It's looking good. I should maybe not go 40 miles per hour right now. Braking could be a little tricky here, so... Let's, let's go slow. Oh! Hey there! Hey, he Given seems to be. Circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target. But soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. 
Well, I mean, if there's a whole town angry at him, it's gonna get tricky to find them. Several hectares them. of virgin forest blanketed in eternal snow. The Manistan region, comprised mostly of bellowing caribou and inviolate lakes, wasn't exactly touristic. Well, I think this it is touristic. It was said that its lands had harbored the Cree people for thousands of years. But since the Industrial Revolution, it seemed that all they harbored were metal mines. Wait, am I am I in the right place? I, I just keep driving. claimed the territory surrounding Lake Atamipec. It could barely be called a village, an enclave, or a settlement. Perhaps. Man, this thing got quite Anything the that illustrates grip of nowhereness, bordering <laughs> the backwoods of the Cree Kingdom. Okay, where am I? Um, is that is this the convenience store? It, it, it looks like a convenience store. All right, let's. The general like store. The general store provided the populace with various goods that couldn't be plucked from nature itself. William Hamilton had recently taken over the. Yeah, place. nothing wrong with that. In fact, the whole region was. Oh, now damn it! His. Part right next to the friggin' pillar. It is cold. I have a cold symbol there. Okay, good. Man, check out this classic gasoline station. Gilles Lachance owned the general store. That is, before Hamilton got his hands on it. Oh man, if only ah, uh, if only I spoke French just just a little bit. Ah, uh, a pack of cigarettes, thirty cents, one dollar fifty for a carton. That's like like nothing. I I don't know where this is in what Whatever time period this is set. Here, things got pretty rough. Oh wow. Hope I'm not too late. Oh. Okay. Um, we got a note. What do we got here? Gilles. Gilles Lachance, Carl recollected, was the general store's manager. Should Hamilton not be available, he was the man to talk to. Or what if Hamilton had moved up his appointment with his physician? Ah, uh, Gilles, un gars de Montreal va viendre. Mm, I um I have no idea what this says. I wish I did. Um, but yeah. Um, doctor before <laughs> something about a doctor. Something about I have no idea. Well, we got some. What's that? Oh, you ammunition. Ammunition out in the open like this? Yeah, what, you should not. Was that careless? Yeah, Jill. How dare you? Various canned fish. Okay. What is it with that music? Here we we should definitely stop that. Thank you. That's way better. All right, we should probably turn on the pump, pump one at least, so we can fill up our car. I assume we're gonna need that. Um, validate. All right, that's. <laughs> well, I'm glad I can play around with that. I don't, I don't think I need to do anything with that. Any 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 clues what might have been happening here? More canned fish. Yum 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 yum. Oh, a cereal box. <gasps> what is that? Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground. That is really weird. That was a first. That that is an odd occurrence, I gotta say. Can we open that? Th oh, oh, wolves! Hey guys, shoo shoo. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Uh, are we gonna fix that? Repair generator. Okay, we need duct tape and pliers. Do we? Do we? Do we need to repair that though? Carl proudly remembered an essential fact of his survival 101 class in the army. What is that? Wolves won't approach crowded areas. Or was it about bears? All right, now let's 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 keep the power on. How about that? Generator. Um, what does this say? Explained. That both the garage and the store shouldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. All right, okay, good to know. So we're gonna turn off the store and turn on the garage and check out the garage then. Oh, those are some. By all appearances, the general store also served as a post office. Interesting. Letters and packages awaited the locals' daily visit. It is a thought that nobody's around. I it, was that the store manager that just drove towards us on the road there. Honking his lights. The door oh. Was locked. Well, big surprise. Um, I wonder if we can find the key somewhere in there. 
Um, the place is a mess. Yeah, no, no shit, Sherlock. I'm gonna, gonna call you Sherlock now. For obvious reasons. Yeah, they're all closed, obviously. We're not gonna find the key in here. That'd be too easy. Ooh! What is that? Fire starters? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, let's just steal stuff. Because I'm also a thief! Oh, well, nobody's here. Military ration packs. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need this stuff later. Ooh, a first aid kit? I'd like that. Can I can I have that? Thank you. Yeah, that might that might come in handy. What do we got in the drawers? Like Oh! There you go. There's some matches and some duct tape so we can repair the generator for whatever reason. Oh, what does this note say? Uh, how to open the cash register. Um, compose a price. Minimum two numbers. Uh, sell the stuff. I have no idea what the rest means. God, yeah, I wish I would remember some of my French, but no. Alright, so, so two numbers. Twelve and sale. There you go. There's a note in here, isn't there? What the frick? Okay. Um, there seems to be some marked stuff. I guess these are just... Yeah, it's like a, like a list of sales. I wonder if that's ever going to be useful. I, I, I doubt I'm going to steal any of that. Oh, thank you. There, There is it. If you press read, it'll give you some information. All right. Louis Blay... Uh, <laughs> doesn't sell me much more. I guess, I guess these are just addresses. Can I take a picture of this? No, no, not really. I mean, I'll take a picture of the mess. You know, I'm not I'm not even sure I'm supposed to be here. I'm gonna keep that picture. Empty store, the store is empty. No trace of Hamilton or any employee. I can stand here waiting, but my gut's feeling is telling me that I should be expecting them to arrive anytime soon. Maybe I should look around. All right, I need to find my client. He owes me money, and I did not drive seven hours only to taste fresh snow. I should see the doctor. Dr. Biopre lives not too far away. He's supposed to meet with Hamilton this afternoon. Maybe I should go talk to him. And the store manager. I assume he knew about my visit, or at least he must know how to reach his boss. According to his driver's license, he lives nearby. All right, I guess we're gonna hopefully find someone. I'm not I'm not gonna repair anything here. <laughs> not my job to repair anything. Oop, well, garage. Got the key. Finding a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. It says garage on it. it. It shouldn't be that hard to find that. All right. Turn on the power there. Going out of here. All right, then. Oh, come on. Is there a light switch or something? Because it is friggin' dark. Well, that's what I got a flashlight for. Sweet. Okay, we got a little bit of... Oh, a crowbar. The crowbar is stuck. What was it sounded that? Sounded like an explosion had occurred in front of the store. What was that about? In front of the store? I don't see anything weird. Was it? Oh, no, that's 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 the wire there. Maybe that was what exploded, like that. The transformer yeah. station had burned, and the wire had snapped. Carl could wait for an electrician to show. Why? Up, but under such circumstances, the effort seemed desperate. Why? Why? Why would we wait for that? I guess we're gonna need to get the generator running. Which I can do as soon as I get some pliers. There you go, there they are. Ooh, what's that? Nails. Very well. Seems to be there's all kinds of useful stuff in here. Okay, I'd love to lift this car up. Oh. Yeah, that shell fell there. Um, we can't use that. I want the crowbar. I mean... I'm not entirely sure why I do these things, but I, I I will take the crowbar. Okay, let's let's fix this thing. Duct tape. Duct tape fixes everything. Okay, this is not running. The electricity is set to just generator right now. That's good, and the power is on in the garage. All right. That should make it possible for me to lift up the car. Hey there. Let's lift you up, shall we? Looking at the controls wouldn't make the lift budge. The poor thing needed electricity. Wait, didn't work. I do that? 
Thought I'd turn on the generator. Oh, the light is off. Okay, so I must have said something wrong. And back we go. Okay, can we, can we test if we have electricity? Nope, we don't. Oh, now it is the generator. I said it the wrong way. I'm an idiot. All right, turn it off. Turn garage on. There you go. Progress. Let's lift this thing up. And there's my crowbar. Yay, I got a crowbar. Useful tool to pull out nails or to carry just in case. Yeah, that's a very good just in case thing. All right, nothing in the trash. All right, since I would like to fuel up my car, I'm gonna turn off electricity in the garage and turn it on here very well. Okay, let's see if we can fuel this one up. And again, let, let actually, I think it. I think it is a full. Yeah, it, it is pretty full. The meter shows full there. All right, I guess we're gonna see the doctor or wherever we're gonna go. I'm not entirely sure where this leads. Okay, so this goes to the village. Okay, straight ahead. Okay, this is where we're going. I think this leads to the village. Let's see if we can find someone there to give us some answers. Oh, wolves. Well, you go and go and enjoy yourself in the snow. I wish I could turn on the radio. And then again, what station would I receive right now? In the middle of nowhere in a snowstorm. Oh, 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 hey there. We got going. Well, let's see if we can help someone. This doesn't look good at all. Oh, nope, this doesn't look good at all. All the stuff from the bag. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. The An track was fresh. Anyone in there? That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now, where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Yeah, this can't be a good idea. What is that? That is... Ooh, Polaroids. Very good. All right, let's uh, follow the... Oh, those are, I guess, wolves? Wolf prints? Let's, let's see if we can... Uh, we're going to track the wolves because they seem to be tracking whoever is in here. This is so bright. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh. Carl felt engulfed by a wave of cold, and for a second thought he was fainting. All of a sudden, four phantasmagoric figures were fixing their gaze on him. Well, this what got weird fast. Was going on? Yeah, that's my question too right now. Hey there. Um, okay, we got like four elements. Can can we can we do something? Hey there. Hey, creepy fellas. What what is happening? Okay. Um, I seem to be able to walk around. The cold was beating a retreat, as if he was moving away from some kind of center of gravity. Hmm, that's, that's quite interesting. Okay, I can switch into this mode. All right, I didn't expect it would go there, but yeah, let me let me, let me track back. Numbness was giving way to awareness. The vision was wavering. So whoever went there, I don't think he went. Mm, this seems to be blocked. I mean, I'm following a trail here. But I doubt I'm gonna find the passenger of that car, the driver. Oh, well, this looks fantastic. And I'm utterly and completely lost. I, I, I doubt I'm gonna find anyone. How about I go back to my car? I feel followed. I'm gonna go back to my car just in case. But I will take a picture of this. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah, keep that picture just in case. Yeah, the tracks clearly through this, but I assume I'm gonna have to find a way to open this. All right, let's head back, shall we? Ah, okay, I have an idea where we are. We're gonna head down, keep heading down the road, maybe? It seems that I'm driving nowhere. I might wanna head back, actually, judging by this map. I actually wanna go into the other direction. I mean, there's some trails there, but there are some houses this way, so I'm gonna head back, yeah. 
Well, that was, that was quite a strange experience. I guess I'm gonna see if I can find... Alright, I think there it is. Okay, that's the first property we're gonna visit. I have no idea who that belongs to, but eh, we'll figure it out soon enough. Hopefully someone's there, but I have a feeling nobody's gonna be there. Oops, sorry. Uh, don't crash into the atmosphere surrounded the house. the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Hmm. Well, <laughs> just feeling. This is gonna be empty. I, I really love the attention to detail in this game. All right, 1352. We're gonna check out this house in the next episode. This is really interesting, and I hope we're gonna learn a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more, please leave a like and let me know in the comments. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.